When you first open a Microsoft Word document, you should see something like this. I'm using Microsoft Word 360, but the interface is identical in most fairly recent versions. If you do have an older version and want a video on how to do it in a previous version of Word, let me know in the comments below. I have PDF documents I created showing step-by-step -step how to format, including screenshots, and will be happy to provide them if I know that you want it. Now, the first thing that you want to know is actually what not to do. Don't include a title page. MLA guidelines specifically forbid you to have a title page. Let's begin at the very top. The first thing that you'll want to do is add your header. MLA doesn't use footers, so we can ignore them, but they're linked and they're accessible together. There are two ways to access the header and footer. The first is the simplest. Just double-click in the area of the header to make them appear. You can see that light gray lines showing the header and footer areas appear once you have access to it. To get out again, you can click this big red X, or you can simply double-click in the main body of the paper. The other way to access the header and footer is to go to the Insert menu over here and select Header. And then scroll to the bottom of the drop down menu, selecting Edit Header. Notice your cursor blinking in the header, indicating that you've gotten in successfully. Now, MLA requires that you have your last name and the page number right aligned in the header. First, we need to get the cursor over on the right so the text will be on the correct side. In order to do that, we will click the Home menu tab and then click the Right Align button. The first element of your header is your last name, so you just type it in. My last name is Lucas, so I will type that in. Then you hit the space bar one time and it's time to add the page number. However, you want to avoid the common blunder of just typing in the number as that number will appear on every page and the last thing we want is for every page to say that it is page 1. Instead, we want to use the menu to insert the page number, so we will need to go back to the header and footer menu by clicking on the title here. Then we go to the page number button over here on the left and click it, selecting current position and plain number. This means that as you add pages, the page numbers will automatically be correct. The second page will say 2, the third page will say 3, and so on. This completes everything we need to do for the header.